Hello, my name is Akash Arora, and I'm a developer at Radiant ZMAX. I'd like to show you the new stock lens matching tool, which is only available in ZMAX 13 Release 2. The stock lens catalogs offered in ZMAX provide several thousand off-the-shelf components from over 30 vendors. You can easily search for a particular component knowing its model number or particular properties that you would like it to have. What happens if you've already designed your optical system and you'd like to reduce manufacturing costs by choosing some off-the-shelf components that closely match your design components? Is there a way that ZMAX can do this for you? The answer is yes, and the solution is the stock lens matching tool. It can automatically find the best matches for the components in your system. It'll provide a summary report of the results, and you can also save the best combination to analyze. Some additional options are thickness compensation and fit tolerances. Let's see it in action. Here we have a Petzval lens system that has three components, two doublets and a singlet. And we want to try and swap in off-the-shelf components to reduce our manufacturing costs. The first thing that I've done is I've allocated the air thicknesses as variables for compensation purposes and I've defined a spot radius merit function with glass and air thickness constraints. The stock lens matching tool is located under the tools design menu. You can see several options here which I'll discuss with you as it runs. The first option that you have is the ability to fit all surfaces or surfaces that have variable status assigned to them. You can choose all vendors or any specific vendors that you like. You can show some number of matches. Here we're going to see the top five matches for each component and also the five best combinations. We also have the ability to define the fit tolerances. What this means is that ZMAX will only consider stock lenses whose focal length is within 25% of the component that we are trying to fit. Also, we have entrance pupil diameter tolerances. ZMAX will never substitute in a component that is smaller than your original component, but it will substitute in components that are up to 25% larger and they can then be ground down if you decide to use those. We've also selected to use air thickness compensation. This drastically improves the performance. And we've chosen to save the best combination as well for subsequent analysis. The title bar at the top shows you the current progress. After fitting each component individually, ZMAX will then try the combinations of the best of each component to give you the best overall system. Once this process is done, we're going to have a text listing that shows us the results for each component and the best combinations. You can see here that ZMAX provides the five best for each component and the five best combinations. It tells you the merit function value after swapping in that off-the-shelf component and adjusting the compensators. Down here, you can see the best combination, which is what ZMAX has saved. Let's go ahead and open up that system. Here we have the system that ZMAX saved for us, and you can see from the layout that ZMAX has swapped in similar components to what we had in the original system. Now note that the performance has degraded by looking at the spot diagram, but you're always going to get degraded performance if you start with a well-optimized system. The goal, of course, is to get minimum degradation in order to get the cost savings as a result of going with off-the-shelf components. Lens matching is a powerful new feature that's only available in ZMAX 13 Release 2. To see all the new features that have gone into this release, go to the What's New section of our website at RadiantZMAX.com. Thanks for watching.